There was once a group of men who believed they could solve the mystery of mysteries. They were scientists, experts in chemistry, biology, and physics, students of alchemy, and of the arcane principles which govern the very equilibrium of our universe. These men established a small research center on a remote tropical island where they proceeded with their humanitarian mission, a task linked to the fundamental principles of our very existence. Their aim was to conquer mankind's first, oldest, and greatest enemy, death itself.
Maria. Locala. You bastard. It was you, wasn't it? You who started the epidemic. The evil that is wiping out our community. You raised the dead to feed on the living. You planned it. Answer me, damn you! You were the ones who started it. You wanted to defy hell. And now hell has accepted the challenge. What are you talking about? We came here in peace. We didn't want any trouble. You invaded our homes. You even used us for your research. Where's your wife? My wife is in hell. She is now one with our daughter. But she will be back soon to avenge her. He wants us all to die from that awful disease. We must do something to stop him before he murders us with his spells and his magic. With voodoo. That's right. Yeah, kill him. Yeah, Destroy him. Right. him. OK, OK, that's enough now. Be quiet. We didn't have anything to do with your daughter's death. We tried to save her. But she had an incurable disease, cancer. Our purpose on this island was to study cancer and other diseases that have always afflicted mankind. But we are scientists, not witch doctors. Sometimes through our research we succeed in discovering a cure. Other times we don't. We did all that we could to try to save her. But she's dead now and none of your curses can bring her back to life. You're wrong, and you'll soon have the proof. He may be scaring the rest of you, and if you guys haven't got the guts to shoot, I ain't afraid to. Go ahead. What are you waiting for? Aim here. But remember, I'll persecute you after I'm dead. I'll come looking for you to feed on your intestines. I'll be in your nightmares. Blow your brains out. Die! Don't you realize he's our only hope of putting an end to this insane slaughter? <laughs> There's nothing you can do. I've used magic to open the third door to hell. All of your science and all of your research is helpless against that. There's no place on earth for you to hide from voodoo. No one will survive here. Where the dead shall devour the living. And this island is destined to become the island of the living dead. You're wrong. You're mad. Some of us have already managed to get away. Thanks to them, your macabre plans will be defeated. No one can escape the voodoo spell. No one can escape his destiny. Come back to life now if you can, bastard. You fool. You realize what you've done?
We mustn't give up yet. If we make it to the water, we've got some hope of escaping. If the boat's expecting us, we would be safe. We'll die. And we need our bodies just like everyone else's. Somebody's coming. What's happening? Mommy. Getting near. Come on.
Wait here. You understand? Fast as you can without stopping. And if your obedient mother will join you later. But I want to stay with you, Mommy. Look, I'll let you wear this, and I want you to run very fast, you understand me? And promise not to take it off until I tell you, okay? Okay, Mommy. Start running. Go on, go! Slowing down, we'll never get past this goddamn island. We're nearly out of gas, that's why. Ah, uh, uh, don't worry, boys. One toke of this stuff, and we'll be flying. <laughs> hey, Louise. Thank you, but no thanks. I like to keep my feet on the ground. <laughs> that friend of yours, don't think she's enjoying herself. I don't know, maybe she's seasick. This is it, kids. This is the answer to Colombian go. Ha! Don't hog it all. Great! Way to go! Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. So, uh, you guys known each other a long time, huh? You bet we have. We joined up to fight a war together. And when that was over, we began traveling around looking for other wars to fight, making a living as uh, soldiers of fortune, mercenaries if you prefer. Of course, we only work for the good guys. If they can afford our lifestyle. Our huh, guys? Uh huh? <laughs> 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 How you doing? I'll be all right when we get back to open sea. Don't you like it here? Looks nice. Typical deserted island. No, it's weird. Something strange about it. As if it were haunted. The sort of thing I used to dream about. There was an island like this one, full of zombies. The living dead. They were horrible. I wouldn't be concerned. We're headed for the harbor. I still hate it. But maybe it's fate. Anyway, with this I feel safe. What is that? It's a key to keep the door to hell closed. <laughs> the door to hell? That's right. <laughs> Yeah, I expected it to get like that. It means we're not far from the hidden eye of the volcano. It's like being locked in a steam bath. 
Do we have to go on? Yeah. Here. Thanks. Come on, kids. Uh -uh. What, you think I'm deaf? What the hell is it? The souls of the dead. Uh, the first your ear drums of all the dead souls in the world began shouting. And why? They're calling. The way they did in the dream. Let's get out of here, you guys. I don't like it. I'm scared. That noise is so creepy. Relax. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, Mad. Get some life out of this tub. My uh, goddamn engine's acting up. It's them. Hey, what's the matter, Matt? Why didn't she step on the gas? She's on full throttle. But the engine doesn't respond. Something's wrong. Jesus, Matt, we're heading straight for the island. I'm not steering. The wheel's stuck. We'll have to stop and fix it. We have no choice. Listen, the voices, they stop. Hey, look, there's a wharf. We can moor there. This is a good place to rest. I'm already exhausted. It's amazing. This whole island is part of a volcanic formation which appears extinct. But this topsoil here probably covers a river of molten lava. Remember what the diary said about the magic powers of nature here? Perhaps it all depends on the climate. There supposedly was a colony of men and women here. But where do they go? They all seem to have disappeared without leaving a single trace of their passing. And whoever left the diary in the drifting boat also disappeared into thin air. The voodoo witch doctor cast a spell on them, as the diary explained it. Then a strange plague started on the island. All the inhabitants just died, but no one ever knew why. Oh, come on, Valerie. It's just that it's impossible to live here. Be like living in a pressure cooker and thinking it's going to explode any moment. Yeah, you're right, Chuck. Toxic gases, explosions, earth tremors. If you ask me, those researchers must have been crazy to choose this island as a place to do a long series of experiments in. Then what are we doing here? Maybe we're a little crazy, too. What do you think, Chuck? They were scientists, and we want to know what happened. And if that bores you, then go to hell. Okay, okay, cool it. I only asked a question. Okay, let's go. There, David. Not sure I can take any more of this heat. Well, what do you say, David? We're in charge. I say let's go. It's never gonna end. I know it won't. We'll just go on walking forever. Oh, come on, Valerie. We're more than halfway there. Trust me. I don't think we ought to go in last. 
Can you suggest any other solution? Are you all out of your minds? We were dragged here. We were brought here on purpose. Let's move. Which way, Mad? We look for water. We'll soon need it. Hey, do you think these high heels are gonna hurt my feet? You can use them as weapons. <laughs> There's nothing to laugh at. If we go in there, we'll never get out alive. Why can't we just fix the engine and leave? We can't repair the engine because we got nothing to repair the engine with. What'll it be? You can go with us or stay here alone. <sighs> Think fast, because we're not waiting. Move out. Maybe she wants to do a little more sunbathing. Yeah. I'd like to stay and give her a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she has a date with Tarzan. Yeah. <laughs> You know what happened to Red Riding Hood in the woods, don't you? No, what? We'll finish your ass. Bastard. Watch your ass, baby. And you're Hey, another. Dan, don't you try stealing her off with my baby. Yes, mm -hmm. sir, Magda. I know my place. I will touch your baby. Anybody's baby. So just keep your hands on Hey, Mad, you think we'll find a boat yard around here? Get lost. Well, they already are. him shouting. Oh. oh my god. Tommy, what happened? Look. Jesus, who did that to you? Crazy guy dressed in black. I think he had lepers. That's an ugly wound. We gotta really do bad. something. Oh, bastard sneak up behind me and bit me. We'll have to treat it. With what? You fucking son of a bitch! Come on, show yourself! Back to the home. Come on, let's get it. Here.
Holy Christ. It's gone. Where the fuck you suppose it is? Now we really are stuck here. Mm. Shit. But, but how? I mean, how the hell are we gonna get out of here without a boat? We gotta yeah, get some medicine sure. for Tommy. The colony must have had a hospital. Yes, of course it did. Well, if it did, how did you find out about it? You know something we don't? And if there is a hospital here, where is it? I've, I've been on this island. Then help us out. And finding that hospital would certainly help. But we need to hurry. I don't know where it is. It was a long time ago. But there is one, I know. Then let's start looking, because Tommy's getting worse. He can hardly stand up. We'd better be moving. Listen, Rod. You take the lead. Go ahead. Okay. Dan will stay with Tommy. And we'll take up the rear. Let's move. Must be the place. The walk. Yeah, but it was worth it. What's that noise? It's coming from there, from that opening. It sounds like crying. Yeah. The diary. The community's book. It mentioned the, the damned souls who killed everyone on the island, destroyed the settlement. I don't want to go on. Don't be stupid. We already come this far. In my opinion, we ought to go the whole way and find out the truth about what really happened to all those researchers. That's all very well, Chuck. But frankly, I don't want to die on this island. some torches here, David. Shall we use them? Sure. Where's your lighter? Just a sec. These graves are empty. They didn't pay their rent. They got evicted.
Hey, Dan, put Tommy on that bed while we check the other rooms. Come in. There he does it. There you go. Oh. Oh. circle of Satan. It's the door of hell. A voodoo ritual. It prevents the dead from rising. You have to... You have to put the amulet in the center. Like this. Bullshit. That's all it is. Fever, he's cold as ice. Hey guys, look what I found. Two M16s. Let me have one. <laughs> hey, baby. Welcome home to your big papa. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tommy, look at this. We got M16s again, just like in the old days. We can fight anything now. He can't hear you. I think he's almost in a coma. I've been kind of wondering, why all these weapons in the hospital? I guess they wanted to defend themselves. Evidently, they failed. It'll soon be night. We'll have to set up guard duty. 
I want the first watch. If anyone tries to get near us, we'll have to deal with Baby and me. Come on, honey. This is incredible. What kind of place is it? It's like some kind of temple. If the island's uninhabited, who lit all these candles? Why are they ranged in a circle like that? Could be dangerous. Don't be silly. What's wrong with you two? The diary said it started in a grotto with voodoo magic. You're being childish, Valerie. I bet this was written by a fanatic who belonged to some religious sect. Hey, how can you talk like that? You haven't seen enough? Come on, Chuck. Why don't you try reading some of it? Don't do it. It might release evil forces. If reading this will solve the mystery of what happened all those years ago, then I'll do it. That's the only reason we came here. Come on, then. Why are you waiting? Go ahead and read something. I opened the third door of hell. I closed the third door of hell, and the dead avenged my wrath. I raised the dead with my rights and scattered their souls away. These damned souls forever will wander betwixt hell and earth as angels of the wasteland. And the dead, to ease their hunger, will free themselves of the living. If you want to open the door to hell today, these four words you must say. Well, why are you stopping at the best part? No. I don't want to read anymore, please. I don't feel like it. See what you've done to him? I was afraid that would happen. Anatanum, zombie. Baraton, zombie. You see? You really believe in zombies in this day and age? Nothing happened. Watch out for the werewolf. <laughs> Valerie! 
Davy! <laughs> David! was a dumbass thing to do, I might have shot you. I'm sorry. It's just that I couldn't get to sleep, so I thought I could keep you company. Okay, I understand. It isn't easy to sleep. On a hot night like this, and this fog. Mm. Aren't you frightened? Yeah, sure, it's only natural to feel frightened. It's fear that saves your life when you're fighting waiting for Charlie to drop out of the trees at night. Those are the times that really count for something in a man's life. When you discover if you've got balls or not. And do you? Yeah, I found out one thing. When a man's afraid he's gonna die, there's nothing he wants more than a woman by his side. And I want you. No, not now, please. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Slap bastard! King! What the hell's going on? I'll blow your brains out! Shoot the motherfucker! I'm getting very near. Promise me that you won't move for any reason whatsoever. I All right, remember, you aim high. Wait 
until they get closer. Don't waste any ammunition. Now! up a little bonfire for these bastards.
hell are you doing? We must keep them lit. Gonna shoot Tommy, he's one of us. He's a real pain. Yeah. He can't live anymore. <laughs> if that's an example of what's going to happen to us all when they bite us, then I'm gonna get plenty of them first. Take care of me. Why did you leave me all alone? Scientists lived here and vanished about 20 years ago. They performed experiments with a drug 
Serum. Supposed to prevent human cell degeneration and cure all kinds of diseases, even cancer. Pie in the sky. And what happened to the two friends you were with? We stumbled on this strange grotto with lights in it and candles. In an old book that talked about opening the gates of hell and zombies eating the living, there was this magic formula, four words for summoning ghosts. But it frightened me too much, so David decided to read it himself. As soon as he finished reading, these monsters appeared and attacked us. My friends were torn to pieces. Even if they are monsters, we'll stop him in any case. We'll just aim for the heads. I know what they want. What they want is me. Just look at them. Like vultures waiting for their prey. Why do you think you're the only one they want? I know, because I've been on this island before, 20 years ago. And your folks must have taken part in those experiments. But why didn't you say something then, when I was telling everyone about it? I'd forgotten. I'm just beginning to recall it now. Tell us what you remember. Yeah, he's right. It might help us to get out of here. Go on, tell us the story. My father was a scientist, a world-famous chemist. It was he who created the community to do research here on the island. He thought he was working for the good of humanity, searching for a cure-all that would prevent death by using natural medicines, which had been used by voodoo witch doctors in their magic ritual. He and his colleagues developed a vaccine and tried it on a little girl who was suffering from leukemia. Unfortunately, she died. And her father, who was a voodoo holy man, blamed the community and laid a curse on it. On both my parents, their colleagues, and everyone on the island. A horrible place. Well, my mother saved me with this, my charm. You said that amulet can close the door to hell. There's no other way we can escape now, except by shutting the door to hell that the holy man left unlocked and that they came out of. This can stop them. and get some sleep. Thank you. 
doesn't hurt. Man. Come on. I want you to be like we are. It'll be a new experience for you. Just to buy the solid things. And you'll become one of the living dead. Don't you want to be like us? You're not getting your dirty hands on me. <laughs> Turned into one of them. Dan, I don't want to be one of those things outside. It's okay. You're going to be all right. You got to shoot me. Stop me before I kill anyone else. I said it's okay. I know it. Please. Please. I swear that you'll shoot me before it's too late. Okay. I swear it. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go. He's dead. There are more out there. What do we do? Shoot him. Just a minute. Ah! <laughs> 
And we're gonna be together. Forever. Yeah, I recognize this place. The open door. That's where it all began. And it has to end.
doors of heaven, three doors of hell. Those of heaven are within our souls. Those of hell are in the earth. If you are willing to sacrifice your soul, you'll be able to close the opening. Ah! 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 